Hi tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling, where we dive deep into the digital world. Today in this video, we are decoding the mystery of managing storage and bandwidth for your IP camera network. Whether you are securing your home or business, understanding these elements can make all the difference. So stay tuned for some pro tips and let's get started. Now what exactly are affecting our storage? Think of storage as a digital library. The more books or data that you want to store, the bigger your library needs to be. But not all the books are the same size, right? So let's see what are the factors that affect the storage. Now first we are going to take a look at a website that provides a free storage capacity calculation. So under this estimated tool, we have all the factors that affect our storage capacity. First is the number of camera. Multiplying camera is like inviting more friends to the party. More guesses, more snacks needed, right? So more camera means more bandwidth and storage needed. Next, we have the day and the hours. Now, real-time monitoring allows you to watch footage live as it happens. But while it is incredibly useful, it also means you are continuously writing data to your storage, especially if you are recording 24-7. So what else impacts your storage? Here we have a video format. That is our compression technology. Like a magic wand, it shrinks your video files without losing quality. At its core, video compression is about finding and eliminating redundancy within video files. This is crucial because raw video footage can take up an enormous amount of digital storage. So video compression is the process of reducing the size of a video file or a stream without significantly compromise its quality. In many videos, especially surveillance footage, much of the background doesn't change from one frame to the next, and compression algorithm can take advantage of this by only recording the differences between frames, rather than storing each frame in its entirety. Now on this website, when you hit this button, you can see all the definition of the different format. And common compression standard tag like H.264 and H.265 compress video files so they take less space. And H.265 and plus offering even more efficient compression algorithm, making it ideal for high resolution video. And the key is finding the right balance. Too much compression can also make the video quality drop. So next we have the resolution and frames per second, that's our frame rate. Now you have cameras watching over your space, but the clearer you want the picture or the smoother you want the motion, the more data you will create. And that's your resolution and frame rate at work. We know that the higher the resolution means the more storage it will take, but what about frame rate? Now this is measured in frames per second, FPS, dictates how smooth your video looks. The number of frames per second, FPS, affects smoothness and clarity of video, especially in a fast-moving scene. More frames mean more data to transmit and store. Now imagine flaming a bustling city street at 30 fps versus a quiet hallway at 15 fps. Now the busy street not only looks better, but also takes up more space. And to optimize storage, you should consider adjusting your frame rates for less busy scene. And using efficient compression setting, set recording hours for critical time zone, and also exploring motion activated recording to save space. Now thinking ahead about how long you want to keep your recording, because more days of video means more storage needed. And here's the pro tips. A busy scene or bad lighting can be like a data hog, taking up more of your precious storage. So keeping scenes simple and well lit can really pay off. So moving on to bandwidth, 
unlike browsing the web, where data flows in short bursts, security cameras stream data non-stop, imagine a river compared to raindrops. That constant flow needs a dedicated pathway or bandwidth to ensure smooth streaming. In calculating the bandwidth, you need to start with understanding your camera's requirement. What are those? Resolution, frame rates, and compression. Yes, they all play a part. Efficient compression and smart frame rate choices can significantly reduce your bandwidth requirement. And you can calculate the bandwidth that you need by using the formula resolution times frame rate times compression and all times the number of camera that you need. For example, if you have 5 cameras at 1080p resolution, 15 fps using H.264 compression, now you can estimate your bandwidth need. But remember, always add more bandwidth for buffering. So balancing your IP camera system's bandwidth and storage is all about making smart choices. Resolution, frame rate, compression, the number of cameras, recording style, retention period, and optimizing your scene. And of course, you can always add more HDD to your NVR. But what if your camera network grows? Managing dozens of cameras can strain your network, affecting performance. And this is where a VLAN, or you can call virtual local area network, comes in handy. It's like having dedicated links on a highway for your security cameras, ensuring a smooth traffic flow without interference, improved performance, enhance security by isolating the camera data and easier management. Essentially, a VLAN can support your growing network, keeping all your video stream clear and lag-free. And there you have it! From optimizing storage with smart frame rates and compression choices to calculating bandwidth and considering a VLAN for a larger network. Managing your IP camera system is all about making informed decisions. And remember, a well-planned network is a secure network. Now, thank you very much for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech insights. And if you have any questions or tips of your own, we would love to hear them in the comment section below. So stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.